everybody. If you're new to my channel, I'm Lori. Hello. Nice to have you here. And I will be back in a minute to start this video. I'll be back. Hi, everybody. So, as you can tell by the title, I am going to talk about The Sundown Motel by Simone St. James. Such a good book. Now, there will be spoilers. So, when there is spoilers, I will warn you ahead of time. So, if you're planning on reading and you haven't read it yet, you won't be spoiled. But, yes. Okay. Now, this is about the two different timelines. We got, I believe, 1982. Let me make sure. Yeah. Yeah, 1982. Which is this girl named Vivian. Now, it's not really a spoiler because it tells you right away. She does not get along with her mom and the rest of her family very well. So, she basically took off and I think she wanted to go to New York City, I believe. But something happens and she's in a different part of New York. I think it's maybe like, I'm not sure exactly where it is in New York. But anyway, she winds up staying in this place and... Things happen. She start first. She meets this one girl. Not really a spoiler because it happens right away. And then crazy things start to happen. And then we got this other timeline. And for some reason, I just forgot her name. <laughs> and we have um, Carly. That's her name, Carly. She's in 2017, I believe. Now we find out. I mean, we know that because of the blurb. That Carly is Vivian's niece. And her aunt went missing. And she wants to find out what happened to her aunt. And this ain't really spoiler either. Because it basically tells you like. Make sure. Yeah. So it tells you that the hotel is like haunt, like basically haunted. That creepy things are going on, and it seems haunted and stuff like that. So, and it starts out. It ain't no spoiler either because it happens right away. It starts out right before she disappears, Vivian, and then it goes back and starts from when she first gets there. To the, um, you know, what leads her to get the job at the Sundown Motel. So, and then we have Carly later on following her aunt's footsteps because she wants to know, like I said, what happened to her aunt. No one else seems to care what happens to her aunt but her. And her mother um, died, which ain't a spoil either because it tells you right away, but the mother died and so she decides. Carly decides that she is going to go and investigate to what happened to her aunt. So she winds up exactly the same thing. Finding a roommate and then getting a job at the Sundown Motel. And then a lot of craziness happens. This book was so good. It had a lot of creepiness to it. I know a lot of people didn't like how it ended or they were in between. But I freaking loved the ending in here. Like I loved it. Yes. I will say that it wasn't the, you know, uh, outrageously ending. And I'm sure a lot of people will probably figure out, figure out, you know, what happens, what's going on. Because I kind of figured it out, but it didn't bother me. Because I liked how it went down everything. So, yes, I really recommend this. One of my favorite books of the year. I know that we're just started January, but so freaking good. Like, I really loved, um, what was it? The one I just got done reading. Infinity, Infinity Sun? I really loved Infinity Sun. That was also a six star. But this one is my absolute favorite out of the two that I gave the six stars to. But, oh my gosh, you guys. Like, so much happens. I just, like, love both Carly and Vivian, even though I like Carly more than Vivian. 
because Vivian does some really weird things, stupid things. So yeah. But that's all I can really tell you without spoiling anything. Because yeah, it's very um spoily the book. So if you don't want to be spoiled, then please come back later after you read the book and hear the rest of my thoughts about it. But for now, if you don't want to be spoiled, bye! I love you guys and thanks for coming! Alright. Oh, before you guys leave, if you're leaving, let me know down below in the comments if you've read it yet. I mean, if, if, you're not, if you didn't read it, I mean, what are you planning on reading it? That's what I meant to say. <laughs> okay, bye now. <laughs> I love you guys and like I said, thanks for coming. Alright, now spoil! Spoilers! Yes, yay! So, we come to find out that Vivian finds out that these girls, that some girls went missing, and I mean were killed, not missing, but they were they were killed. So she's trying to investigate this. She is trying to find out what the hell who killed these people. And as the book goes on. She starts having a suspect. Because there's this one person that keeps showing up. And there's ghosts in here. And one of the ghosts, I don't remember the lady's name. Doris or Dor something with a D. And she um, was murdered. She was the first one that was murdered. And it was before the hotel, I think. Was I think it was when it was being grounded, the hotel, whatever you want to say. And yeah, so when he killed her, that's where she was buried. So we come to find out that she is one of the ghosts that is haunting the place. There's a couple other ones. I'm not going to tell you who they are. But there are a couple other ones that are also haunting the place. But, uh, D Dor, Dor, I forget her name. But anyways, she was the first one and she's very angry. And she knows that the one that killed her is in the hotel. So whenever this character comes into play... She comes out and she's really violent and stuff. And she tries like to talk to um, Vivian and stuff like that. Very interesting. And then, yeah, we find out a lot of things about Vivian. Like, like she finds out about this person and finds out where this person lives and stalks this person because she has it. She knows that this person is the one that are killing these girls and along the way we find out that one of the girls he's stalking yeah one of the girls that guy I'm just gonna say it's a guy because I already let it I actually let it slip but the guy is yeah is um stalking and Vivian, like I said, she just, like, we know that he's stalking this girl because Vivian is stalking him, basically. And all this crazy stuff happens that we find out that she does. Like, there's, um, I'll just say there's a couple other people that come into play. There's a, um, I don't know if they're called, what are they, a detective or no, a private eye or whatever they're called. You know, the ones that, like, that um, do, like, videos. Like, you know, like if someone's cheating or whatever, you know. That kind of stuff. Well, there's one of those, and then there's a cop. And that's all I'm going to say about them. Because they make, they play a big, that's all I'm going to say is that they make, excuse, excuse me. They play a big part in this book on Vivian's time and eventually on Carly's because both of these characters, I'm not going to tell you like anything too much about them, but, but yeah, they're um, still alive in Vivian, I mean, Carly's time, time period. So now back to Carly. Now as she, as Carly is looking to find out what happened to her aunt, she finds out that her aunt, her aunt was missing for four days before anybody reported her missing. She also meets this really awesome guy. I forgot what his name was, but I am in love with this guy. 
Like, a lot of people don't trust him, but oh my gosh. I think his name's Jack. No, Nick. Jack is from a different book. <laughs> yeah, Nick. Oh my gosh, Nick is just like, I love him because he has a hard life. He had a lot of, tra he had a tragedy in his life. A big tragedy, that's all I'm gonna say. And a lot of people don't trust him and stuff. They're very like, oh, to him. I'm not gonna tell you what his, what happened in his life because if you're gonna read, if you if you're watching the still watching this, and because you like a little bit of spoilers, I don't want to spoil everything. So, but yeah, so she meets. Like I said, she winds up meeting a girl and they become roommates. And she also gets, like I said, a job at that hotel. Yeah. And then spooky stuff starts to happen to her as well in this place. Like exactly what's going on with her aunt is what's happening to her. And then all the stuff goes down. Like Carly is just freaking awesome. Like she, like I said, she's the only one that was worried about what happened to her aunt. No one else was caring, you know? No one. But she wanted to know what happened to her aunt. And I really love that about Carly. I will say there's a lot of twist and turn, like I was saying. There's this part in the book where the towards the end that really gets creepy with the ghost. That's all I'm gonna say. And yeah, we just find out so much. I will say, in Carly's timeline, they find a body. I'm not going to tell you who the body is, who it belongs to. Is it the aunt? Maybe. Or is it someone else? Maybe. I mean, there were girls being murdered. So it could have been another body. We don't know. Or I know, but I'm not telling you guys a case. Like I said, you're here for the spoilers. Because some people like to listen to spoilers, you know? So just in case you're here for the spoilers, yeah. I'm not going to tell you too much. But oh my gosh. I just freaking loved Carly. Now like I said, she does like Nick in this book. But nothing really happened. It ain't a romance book. So don't worry about that. Definitely not a romance book. The romance don't really play no part in it. You know, romance, I mean. But you know that Carly is hot for this guy. She's hot for him. I mean, she is like one in this guy. You know it. But she wants to find out what happened to her aunt. And she, that's her main focus. And she's just like... Bad ass. I loved her. Now back to Vivian. Vivian was cray cray sometimes. Like she did so many things in this book. And you're like, oh my gosh. Like when she was stalking the person that she thinks is doing it. And she goes to that person's house and what she's doing. And yeah. And you find out like certain things that she does like at the hotel and you're like girl there this guy is you think is a killer and you're going and like stalking him well come on girl if he's a killer and you're stalking him and he finds out that you're stalking him you're gonna be a goner i mean come on girl make some sense you know but that's Vivian for you. She was a detective. I tell you, she just wanted to know what happened to these girls. Because besides one of the girls, I think, all the other ones weren't, like, really in, you know, were, like, you know, like, they didn't care about, you know what I mean? Like, they weren't, like, what's that word? They're not, like, influential or whatever you want to say. You know, like, not upper class. You know, they're, you know, they're girls that that people don't think, you know, that they don't worry about. I forget what that word is, but you guys know what I'm talking about. But, yeah, this is just, like, one hell of a ride. Like, I love the twists and turns. I love the ghost feel. 
I mean, some parts got really spooky. Not scary, but spooky. It was such a fun time. Like, oh my gosh. I just love the world, the plot, the characters. Like, even Vivian, when she was doing stupid things, I was holding my breath. I was like, oh, please don't get caught. Please don't get caught. Please don't get caught. Like, oh my gosh, you guys. I was saying this a lot through the book. Like, please, please, please don't get caught, girl. Oh my gosh. Like, yes. And Carly, man, she's just as, like, gets involved just as much. Trying to find out what happened to her aunt. And then, of course, she finds out that some girls were missing at this I mean, were killed at this time. So, yeah. She does, I will say this as a spoiler, she does, um, hold on a minute, my nose is itching. She does figure out that her aunt is the one that her aunt was trying to figure out, you know, about this, these murders that happened. She does know that. And she knows, like I said, she meets the cop and the, the P.I. or the, whatever you want to call it. P.I.? I don't know what you call those things. Not a P.I., but let me know in the comments what they're called. I can't remember what they're called, but yeah. But, you know, like, where they, where they're, like, sent to do, like, you know, like, take pictures and stuff like that for the husband and the, or a wife or whatever that's cheating or, or trying to find or you know, get some dirt on the wife or the husband, you know, like, maybe for a divorce case or something like that. You know, things like that. So, yeah. And then... So much stuff happens. And I will say that there is another character in here, another guy. I'm not going to say his name, and I'm not going to tell you what his part in here is, but it was in the present time. And then there's also this one guy, I don't remember his name, that um, Viv was starting to like. And yeah. He was, a, yeah, I'm not going to tell you who he was because you'll find out in the book if you, you know, like I said, if you're here just for a little bit of the spoilers. Or you're not planning on reading it, you know. But yes, so good. I definitely recommend it. Like I said, six out of six. Favorite of the year. A fun, but kind of creepy ride. Love the characters. Love the atmosphere. Just wow. I definitely Definitely know I will read this again one of these days because, oh my gosh, and I definitely won't get rid of it because it was so good. Like, literally, you guys, this is my favorite mystery ever so far of a mystery thriller type book, which is saying a lot because I love J.D. Robb, who does the In Death series, and her books, I give some six stars too, but this one, like, Oh my gosh, this one just gave me goosebumps in parts of it. The characters, like I said, especially on Carly's side. I like Viv, don't get me wrong, but I liked Carly so much. Vivian's is very interesting, though, too, because, like I said, she's trying to figure out if this person that she thinks is a killer is a killer. And then, you know, and we're trying, we want to be in her in her um, timeline because we want to know what's happened, like what led to this disappearance of hers. Yeah. Oh, and there's this one scene, I'm not going to tell you the whole thing, but there's this one scene, like I said, where the the one that she thinks is killing, killing these women, like I said, is stalking the girl. And I'm not going to tell you what happens with the girl, but it was so good. Like, not what happened to the girl, <laughs> but I'm just saying the book, like trying to find out like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen, you know, because you didn't know right away what was going to happen, you know, in that scenario. I will say that the, um, the day that, um, Vivian goes missing, something happens, not to Vivian, to somebody else, so. And, um, yeah, it was so good, like, yes. And also, it's interesting to try to find out what, if this body is 
the ant or someone else. And if it's not the ant, who the hell is this body? Who does it belong to? I mean, who is this body, you know? Is it a guy? Is it a girl? Is it, you know, is it, like I said, is it the ant? Is it a different girl that the guy killed? What's going on? So you got a lot of stuff going on. So it was really, really, really good. That's all I'm going to say because I do not want to spoil any more for you guys. But definitely, definitely recommend this. I know, like, it's not going to be for everyone. Some people are not going to like how it ended. Yeah. I will say that it wasn't my favorite ending, but I didn't mind it. And, but the thing that got me was the atmosphere with the ghost and Carly and Nick. Because Nick was a very interesting side character to me. I like a guy that has a dark secret or dark history. You know, his history is dark. And yet he's such a great person. And you just want to, like, grab him and give him hugs and tell him everything's going to be all right, you know. But, yeah. But, yeah. If you guys read this, let me know what you gave it. If you haven't read it yet, but you stayed for the spoilers just because you wanted to, then let me know if now you're curious about reading it if you weren't before. But, yes. Highly recommend this. So far, like I said, favorite book of the year. Favorite characters. Um, like I said, I Vivian was, I didn't hate her, but there was, like I said, some things I didn't like about her. But Carly, oh my gosh, I just loved that she wanted to find out so bad what happened to her aunt. And I loved how she didn't, um, what you call it, Nick, you know what I mean? Because of what happened in the past and stuff. But that's all I'm going to say. I'm going to let you guys go. Because I got to pick up in the house a little bit. And get this to go up. It'll be up probably tomorrow sometime in the morning. So yes. So look for. I hope you guys love this video. If you do. Please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing and please remember to hit that bell icon so you'll never so you'll never miss a video of mine and you'll know when I am doing a review of a book. All right, you guys. I hope you guys all have a good day. When this goes up, it'll be Thursday. So I hope you guys all have a good Thursday. And uh, yeah. I love you guys very much as a friend. Happy reading. I hope your reading is going good. And I hope you find a book that you love as much as I love this book. I'll talk to you guys all later.